main. Mm -hmm. And they just beat Arrow Wolf. So I don't want to see how powerful Arrow Main is. And this is going to be a super fun match. But look at this. There is a fight already happening. Laman almost died by the Gustion from Yuji. But he will survive with a sliver of hell. And of course, with me, Vienna Sukirisaki and also my main caster, Weebi. Hello, Hachiken. We're gonna be accompanying you for this last match, the very interesting match between the Indonesian team and also Toby. Oh, a lot of them is there. First blood gonna go to Mardis from Flamath Kagura. Gonna go down there. And there is the Jifundo coming from Yellow Haze. A bit on low HP though, as Coco will have to run away. And there is the Cannon Wave onto, and uh, the Flicker onto the Cannon Wave. And Tuturu will able to pick up that kill, but Lemon is getting very much targeted here by the player from Gator Main, knowing how powerful Lemon is in Kazura. That is a respect kill on that first blood, in my opinion. But Rebo here, oh, it's a Rebo. I thought I, uh, my bad. Mm -hmm. I thought it was, <laughs> I, I, I keep reading his name wrong for two games already. But <laughs> uh, Rebo here with uh, the Saber is gonna farm in bot lane along with Jawhead coming to help as there is a bit of a clash here in mid as uh, Yellow ha Yelly Haze was almost caught it's from very, that fight. But I mean, Gator Main is playing very aggressively towards RQ right here. A lot of... Uh, oh, Lemon now with the Umbrella opening it onto Pain. There is a Jack will have to run away there, but Pain will get caught the right there as Aurora with the Fox is able to get that kill, but there the is the Shadow Wrestler coming from Gushin is able to follow up with that return kill as well, and that is one for one. And the crowd is just cheering heavily for RQ right now. No one thing in their initial team to lose to the Philippine side. Especially when RQ is in their own hometown, their home country actually. The, this is the crowd's advantage, yeah. but the air main here is really, really powerful. Even air will pierce for them. So, oh, look at that. The Jeet Kune Do right onto two people, Kagura and Kaya. And they will have to run back though. And Rebo here. There is a point from Jawhead and Shadow Man Order right onto Tuturu. And Yuji is able to pick up that kill as Coco now will try to run to top lane. And it is empty and will try to get the farm. It's quite privileged. Oh, there is Pain again. I'm sorry to cut you off, but the action is just slain. keeping on going. As Pain was able to get the eject. And Yellow Haze is able to get the drag away of Dragon onto that kill for the Gushin. The Shibo Sweep onto Rebo. People as Aider Main is now dominating this and will able to get this turtle as Coco is now uh, proxy farming on uh, top lane. The turtle is up for grabs and no contest whatsoever. An ally has slain the that turtle. right now is looking concerning. They're playing very, very aggressively. They're not letting RQ farm or even uh, jungle in their own, uh, own, own turf, basically. So. Either main is having like a 3k difference in gold between them. Uh, that's one one full item, almost two items by then. So it's looking very good for either main. Even though um, right here, maybe you can see, hear it at the background noise, is that a lot of uh, support for the RQ team. So uh, wherever you are watching here, you can support your own team for Philippine or Indonesia right down in the comment or at EGG Network. Just Type in your support for them. Your team destroyed a turret. And the turret has been destroyed. You can hear the loud noise right there on ball lane as RQ is getting a lot of support. The home court advantage is right there. But look at that cannon wave coming from the Jiru, dealing a lot of damage onto Martis. And there is a home destroy. Kaya was able to kill someone as RRQ is able to get one kill there with Liam. But Jelly Haze will have to run away. There is a Thorn Rose, but he has to run away. The Jeet Kundo is there for him. And also the dash, but that really won't lead to anything as Lemon will have to farm away in mid lane. That goalie is getting caught slowly, but, slowly, but there is a mega kill coming from Aether Main. There is a Mortal Coil there. Shadow Blade, Slaughter was able to get the kill, and Yuji is just dominating right now, snowballing onto this mid game. It's 7 3 RKO2 really needs to do something to just get that kill deficit down. And now just Tutoru is trying to catch up with the EMP and also both difference the between them as they got um, bullied in by either main. Lemon as well is uh, lacking in terms of levels here so they have to really level up to catch up 
with either main by this point. Turtle oh, resurrecting soon. Portable onto the minion wave. I didn't jungle, but there is a yelling hazer there with the GQ dope. Lemon is gonna get caught up by Pain, but Pain will instead get Divine Judgment by Lion on the turn, and Pain is in a lot of trouble right now in a lot of pain. Will might go down another eject, a lot of damage to Lemon, but will go down by Lemon with the Kagura as Bundle Blade is destroyed. There's another Jaekwondo here by Yelly Hayes trying to chase down Liam here. I don't think a 1v1 is a good idea here. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, go on, sorry, I was cutting you off. Mm -hmm. No, but yeah, oh. uh, he was trying to chase it, so right now they're probably trying to contest for Turtle right here. Ark, you have to get it to try to keep up with uh, the gold that the enemy trying to has minimize slain as much the as turtle. possible to have the fighting chance against either main. But anything can happen now. Still in minute six, anything can happen. And uh, you're looking at Instinct with the Forsex on that freeze. And there is a Jiggle Sweep right onto I Am Jago, the way of the dragon. But there oh. is that Coldness Destroy was unable to hit anyone as Instinct will have to run away here. There is Lemon coming to hold with the Umbrella. Seisho quickly dealing a lot of damage, but Yellow Haze will survive that one as we will kill. be able to get the monster kill onto Lancelot as I Am Jago will go down as there is the Shadow Blade Slaughter there. QG tries to do the Shadow Strike, will miss, but there is another Shadow Blade Slaughter right Onto the lion, the lion team destroyed will the have turret. to run away. Trying, oh, the Divine Judgment with the Flicker instantly under the turret. UG An was able to survive that slain. and People Sweet was able to get the kill on Aurora as Lemon is going to get caught. There is a Jikundo. There is the way of the Dragon and he's all alone. She knows how just need one more like, but there is a massive damage coming to UG as Saber will pick up that kill instead. But Kudu is doing a lot of for his team oh right now. Dragon Dash is able to get a lot of damage. Our turret has been destroyed. Your team that destroyed up, but look at that the damage turret. From Jawhead. No damage still to Pain. Tuzuru is now caught up with Yelly Haze and Pain. Tuzuru will have to escape here. <laughs> Can he actually survive? There is a Cannonball, but will not able to do anything as he is going to go down. There is a Tuzuru coming on Lion, and there is a lot of damage coming from Nebo here. Inner Main is just dominating this game right now. I mean, Saber, Rebo Saber is um, contributing a lot of damage here for either main. Uh, just his ult uh, flashing there, trying to uh, single out uh, anyone, which is like Lemon or Tuturu there uh, playing with Pain. It's gonna be a hassle for RQ to keep up. And Yuji was able to get that buff as well. This is gonna be very powerful on him as he is a mage and will get Lord, that mage buff instead soon. of the assassin one. Wait, screaming him wrong, right? You yeah. get the mage, okay. Anyways, uh, <laughs> you know, because I'm not sure if uh, Gushin is, is a mage or yeah. is it a Yeah, it's a magic. Yeah, but Coco here might get the Mortal Coil. There is a Shadow Strike, there is a Shadow Blade Slaughter as well. Ready, the Jeet Kune Do right there on Lemon, but that was miss. a miss. Yeah, he was out of position there as Jelly Haze trying a bit hard, but there is the dash. I can dance out of the way there from uh, Gushin as Jelly Haze here is caught up by four people. Might get the Divine Judgment here. There is a Divine Judgment right onto Yelly Haze as the Deli Cat oh. is right there, almost getting the kill. Yelly Haze will have to keep running away there, but the damage here coming from Pain a lot to Lemon as Lemon is able to hold Dreadful AP, like but I am Neko is able to get one kill there as Coco getting that kill as well. It's now one for one for both teams as Aethermane is able to get 13 kills with 5 kills only on RG off. So right now we are 13 to 5 for they're able to win. The crowd is surely cheering on them with no cheers whatsoever for Aether Main. This is a lot of pressure for Aether Main, but they're doing so well right now. Very, very well onto this mid game. But Yelly Haze there will the G uh, gonna go the gonna get the G Kundo onto that um, car. Yeah. I don't know what it's called. <laughs> Siege Minion. Siege Minion. That's yeah. what it's called. And of course, um, what why what I can see from Eater Main is that they are buying a lot of like magic resist item, which is like Athena Shield, trying to counter what Lemon and also Liam and also it, what Instinct can do. Yeah, but there's a lot of magic damage as you were saying right yeah. now. So at least uh, three members of Eater Main right now already have Athena Shield, so that's a lot of magic resist overall. And Tutor here, uh, that is. Tuzuru is trying to do a lot of single uh, solo pushings and he, he's barely in any wars. I think that's one of the reasons why RHEO2 is actually losing a lot of these uh, uh, wars against Aether mains. But 
I'm not exactly sure though, because Rebo is dealing a lot of damage with their shields as well. Yeah. The Gushin with the Shadow Blade Slaughter, UG is just dominating right now, snowballing onto her through Oxygen. But I mean, even... Oh, Athena oh. shield onto UG. Yeah. So, four. Athena shell right now. They're just trying to <laughs> block out Aurora and Lemon here. A lot of respect item uh, bo uh, bots here yeah. for inner main. They do not have like a physical damage um, as prominent as uh, either main right here. Yeah, because they have uh, Jawhead and Jimbo as well. Ooh. But they're just attacking on this Athena shield. Look at that damage. A thousand and three hundred right there and from Pain. Ooh. Oh, that is a Grok swing, isn't it? <laughs> There's a lot of damage for a uh, jaw head right here. A I lot, of, yeah. I think that's why Brock is such a bad one. Oh, he's actually Lord. Lord. Mm. Same swing, right? Yeah. Oh, he just bought another. Oh my God! That's everyone, good, good, yeah. yeah, everyone is getting Athena shield by now. Yeah, and there's a lot of. Attention. You have been but, slain. But uh, Yel Yel is gonna get caught in four people. He was out of position. Primo was actually there, but he was unable to help, and he won't risk that. Uh, People sweep on you for people that he cannot follow up as well. There is Super Zola onto Liam. Liam almost went down, but Kagura is right there to destroy Rebo instantly. Oh, as there is a gut like coming from Yuji, gonna pick up that kill that Rebo was unable to do. Deadly Cash will try to run onto Yuji, but he will survive that double one and kill. will get the double kill as well onto the Yuji. There is the object kill. coming from Jawhead. And I am Jungle will have to run away as Pain is able to pick up that wipe kill as well. That is a wipeout from Aether Main RGO2. It's just getting the score. So right now they're gonna try to push all the way to the, the turret. tree turret right here. And probably this is gonna be the end for RQ. No one is gonna get resurrected anytime soon. Only one second. person, yeah. which is Lemon and also Liam. Oh, they're running back actually, but the Lord is pushing on bot lane, so this might be very interesting. I think Aether Main won't risk that wipeout on the Nexus uh, for RQ too. They might just play safe, try to get all the Team units down. Just, the you know, do the vacuum cleaner, make sure all of the lanes is destroyed so they can push in all together as Lord now just got destroyed. Right? Yeah. Yes. Lord the team destroy the, the turret. They're trying so hard to kill the Lord right here. So the final war. Oh, there is a jet coming on to Kaya. Slain. No divine judgment there for RKO2, and this might be GG for RKO2. As look at this Aether Man just dominating the whole pushing lane, even though there's delicate from Tutu, but it, to no avail. Nothing is gonna happen here as the uh, Allied Super Minion is actually mobilizing. That's the blue side Super Minion mobilizing onto the top lane as well. And this is scary for RKO2 because they only uh, got three turrets in total and the mid lane is still very very healthy there and our accused um, our turret has been destroyed. basically was oh. re really exposed there there's no more turrets uh, allied super minion coming in from all the lanes here oh lord jikundo right An here there is slain. this lane coming from saber though as coco will have to run away almost dying the getaway wave actually missed it by just a bit but Pain here getting dealt a lot of damage but will survive that one instead as Lemon is trying to defend the Nexus legendary. not wanting to lose this one but Gushin was able to get the Legendary onto Tutudu as Tutudu is already down here I am Jago as well is in a bit of a pinch not a bit, a lot of a, a lot pinch of right it. here okay. as the war, legendary. the final war is getting double dealt there Aether main double An kill to uh, UG and that is the GG on Aether main as RRQ